Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you for waiting. I, I, had, I had a little problem, but it's already fixed. <laughs> well, it's good Thank to you. see you. <laughs> Thank you. It's good to see you again after one day break, right? It's good to see you. How was your, your day? Your Thursday? I'm good. It was good? Yes. yes. Did you work? I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> Did you work today? Yes, I am. You are still working. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, today, let me show you. You will see in a moment the class presentation for this evening. Today, you're going to learn about the use of two models. The models can and should. Can and should. Okay? And... The lesson objective is that in this session, model verbs can and should <clears throat> will be introduced in a conversation and you will learn how to use them. How to use them? Um, well, in this case, when talking about a place. So before we start, I need to take the attendance and I need you to say present or here when I mention your name, okay? So in a moment, I will be calling out your name. Please have your, um, your camera on. And please put your full name. It's important that you have your full name. Okay. <clears throat> so we start with Ana Marisol Zamora Castillo. <clears throat> Ana Marisol. Ana Marisol, no, she's not here. Okay, Ana Patricia Garcia. I am here, teacher. That's nice. Okay, Benjamin Alejandro. Here. Okay, thanks. Brenda Adriana Mendez. Present, Miss. Thank you. Brian Steve Roda. Present. Brian, is he? Present. Okay, thank you, Brian. Brenda Isabel, no, sorry. I already mentioned Brenda. <laughs> Claudia Isel Cordova. Cla Present, Miss. Okay. Present. Claudia. Daniela Magali, ausencia. Present. Thank you. Elgar Fernando. Portillo. Elisa Arely López. I'm here, Miss. Thank you, Elisa. Elsie Patricia de Jesús. Present, teacher. Ok, thank you, Elsie. Eh, por favor, sí. ponga su, su nombre. Ajá, ahí. Completo. Ahorita, teacher. Ajá, Ahorita. por favor, please, thank you. Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Griselda Lizar. Present, Miss. Thank you. Jacqueline Liliana Enriquez. Present, Miss. Thank you, Jacqueline. Janet Carolina Rivera. Jocelyn Natalia Mancía. Present teacher. Thank you, Jocelyn. Karen Xiomara López. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen. Karina Yasmin Muila. Present teacher. Thank you, Karina. Carla Melisa Colocho. Carla Melisa. Leslie Natalie Orellana. Present. Thank you, Leslie. Lucía Elena Cepeda. Present, teacher. 
Thank you, Lucia. Margarita Abigail Tobía. Present teacher. Thank you, Margarita. Martín Ernesto Estrada Lara. Present teacher. Thank you, Martín. Miley Yamilet Alvarenga Vázquez. Present, Miss. Thank you, Miley. Michelle Beatriz Díaz. Hello, teacher. Present. Thank you, Michelle. Roberto. Teacher, Sorry, me está dando problemas la señal. Solicito permiso para tener apagada la cámara, al menos por momentos, mientras logro solucionar eso, por favor. Roberto Carlos. Hi, teacher, present. Ok, thank you, Roberto. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla. Present, teacher, I'm, I'm here. Yeah, I can see you there. <laughs> Selma y Amilet. I'm here. Thank you, Selma. Eh, Victoria, leal. Okay, then we have 29 participants. Thank you, and I have three chats. Teacher, a mí no me mencionó. Brenda, Brenda Isabel. Isabel. Yes. Bueno, me mencionó, pero dijo que no, no sé. Ah, no le escuchamos entonces. Ok, ahorita. Brenda Isabel Castro. Yes. Ah, no, sí le puse, sí le puse. Ah, ok. Ah. Okay, Teacher, eh, ya había pasado lista cuando entré, creo. Soy la primera. Ah, sí, sí, Ana Marisol, ok. Sí, present. Ah, no, pero, ok, Ana Marisol, ahí está. Very good, thank you so much. Ok, so today, uh, let me show you the agenda and then we're going to start with an activity about places in a city, ok? So I just, I need to copy the link. Give me a moment, please. Yeah. Okay, how is the platform going? How is the work in the platform going? Did you advance yesterday? Ya yes. Yes, yes, yes. I think it's oh, section 2. Yes. Section 2. Yes, great. That's great. Okay. So today we are going to have a recalling previous knowledge. You already know about places in the city with this vocabulary, but we're going to have a review. Then you're going to learn about should and can, how to structure these models how to use them and then conversation time in wrap up so to start i need first we are going to uh, think about uh, different activities we can do in different places what places can you see here in the picture <coughs> tell me please cine movie theater Movie theater or cinema. Okay. Or Airport. Supermarket. Supermarket. Very good. Somebody do Gym. a laundry. Museum. Okay. In order, we yes. have the, the theater. The theater. Listen to the concert. The supermarket. The supermarket. Film. Airport. 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 The laundry. Laundry. Okay. What is this? Um, um, beauty. Beauty salon. <laughs> beauty salon, yes. Yeah. Gym. Bus station. Bus stop. Bus stop. Bus stop. station. Okay. Bus station. Now, what can you do in this place? Then? What can you do at the theater? You move the people see the show. Watch, watch, watch. Okay, you can watch you the can show. Watch a show. Okay. Listen a concert. You can listen to a concert. Great. At the supermarket. Buy food. You can buy, uh, buy, buy, buy some groceries. Buy groceries. Buy anything. Okay, exactly. Or anything you need for for your house, right? Okay, what about the museum? Watch. Watch. Picture. The picture. You can see the, the, picture. the picture. 
Um, okay, and also you can learn, right? You can learn about history, about art, and different things at the airport. You can take a uh, airplane, <laughs> travel, yeah, in another country. <laughs> you can travel. You can take a a plane to travel to another country. Okay, on another place in the laundry. Wash your clothes. Exactly. Your clothes. Wash and dry your clothes. Well, we don't usually go to the laundry here in our country, but there are some places in which you can go. Uh, what about the beauty salon? Good your hair. Okay, get a haircut. You can get a haircut. What else? Makeup. Okay, you can get there to put some makeup, to get some makeup, professional makeup. <laughs> also to do your hair, right? Do your hair. To do your hair, to dye your hair, para teñir el cabello, dye your hair. Okay. At the gym? Do exercise. Do exercise. Okay, and at the bus stop, obviously. Take a bus. Exactly. Okay. Wait the bus. Wait, Wait for, for the bus. bus. Wait for the bus. Now we're going to do the other way around. You will see here the activity. And you have to tell me what's the place. We have more places in the city. You go there to watch movies. Cinema. Cinema. The cinema. Cinema. Okay, the cinema, very good. You go there to park your car. In the park. Parking lot. Parking lot. Parking lot, exactly, parking, parking lot. Parking lot. El parqueo, estacionamiento, parking lot. You go there to buy food? Supermarket. 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 Restaurant. Okay, at the restaurant you eat there, you buy the food too. <laughs> you go there to get money. Bank. 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 Correct. <laughs> awesome. You go there to exercise. Gym. 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 Okay, raise your hand if you go to the gym. Do, do you go to the gym? No. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> no. Sometimes. Yeah. Once in a while, teacher. Hospital. 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 You go there to see a doctor, hospital. Hospital. Yeah. How often do you go to the hospital? Park. 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 Uh, listen park. to my listen to my question. How Beach. Park. 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 Nobody oh, has answered yeah. my question. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Can you repeat what, again, what, what, my teacher? I, <laughs> I usually go to the hospital twice a year. Okay, that's good that you don't go so often. Okay, it's good that you don't go to the hospital so often. <laughs> now we continue. You can go there to walk, play, or have a picnic. Park. How often do you go to park. the park? Sometimes. Do you go alone or with someone? Once a month, maybe. Once a month. I go to the park with my daughter. Oh, with your daughter. That's I go to the park with my best friend. With your best friend. Or maybe you can go with your pet. Maybe you're a dog. That's right. I go, yeah, that's my case. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, that's your case, Roberto. You go to the park to walk your dog. Okay. Uh, Nick. You go there to wait for the bus. Bus. Um, how long, how long do you usually wait for the bus when you go to work? When you go to work, how long was the stop? How long do you wait for the bus? 15 minutes. Every day. Or 20 oh, minutes. Every day. Every day. Around 10 minutes. 20 minutes. That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> a lot of time. You go there to buy books. Library. 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 Shopping mall. Shopping mall. Shopping mall. Shopping mall. What things do you buy at the shopping mall? What do you Juice. buy at the shopping mall? Okay. Necessary things. <laughs> Only shoes? What else do you buy at the shopping mall? Clothes. Clothes? Mm. Cell phones, maybe gadgets, computers. Coffee. Coffee. Green coffee. Okay. <laughs> you go there for the coffee with your best friend. Mm, you go there to get a tan. Where is tan? <laughs> okay, it's not our culture, but in other countries, people have white skin very white so they go to this place to get the sun shine right to get a tan we get a tan here okay uh, in the beach <laughs> yes at the beach i get it <laughs> okay mm -hmm. you get it uh you go there to pray and watch the mass in the church, church. The and watch the mass. The mass is Misa. Okay, next is you go there to watch a game. The stadium. Stadium. You go there to wash your clothes. The river. The river. You go there to send a letter. Post office. Letters or all the other packages. You go there to buy medicine. Drugstore. You can have dinner there. Restaurant. 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 We can go to a restaurant after class. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No? Not a good idea? A for. Oh, yeah, for. <laughs> Wonderful. You to catch a plane, airport. For a game, airport. And you go there to read books. Library. 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 And the last one. <clears throat> you go there to have a haircut. And to do your nails. <laughs> to do your hair, to do your eyelashes. Now you can do this to do your your feet. 
right? Different things. Selma puede. <laughs> oh, okay. Selma is the official hairdresser here in the class. Yes. <laughs> Do you have a beauty salon, Selma? No, I have not. You don't have a beauty salon. Okay, but can we have some discounts? If we ask for your services, maybe we can have a discount. 50% discount. <laughs> Un descuento, right? <laughs> sí, teacher, con gusto. Ah, just kidding. Okay, thank you. Well, <laughs> now that we have practice and we have review the places in the city and the different things that we can do in those places, we have more places here. Um, um, for example, what is this? Library. 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 Train, train station. Train station. Park. Beach. And also, so it's a zoo. Park. So, Super. Zoo. The zoo. Super. Okay. Super. Actor. Theater. 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 Post office. Post office. Post office. Post office. Hotel. 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 The farm. Garden. 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 Okay. Garden. 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 Restaurant. A restaurant. Okay. Nema. Nema. Pool. 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 School. 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 Right. Okay, very good. Now we are going, let's move on. We have here a conversation. Six world famous landmarks. We have the Grand Canyon in Arizona, US, the Lone Paris, France, the Pyramids in Giza, Egypt, the Colosseum, Rome, Italy, is Sugar Love Mountain, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Tap Mahal, Agra, India. Okay, you are going to um, number according to the place, the first place you would like to visit. What would be your number one? Colorado. Canyon, Colorado. Grand Canyon, the Grand Canyon. Okay. Another opinion? Uh, we can say in, uh, the pyramids. The pyramids of Giza. Okay, good. The Taj Mahal. Yeah. Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Okay, so we have different opinions because we have a variety of people in the class, so we have different likes, right? Okay, so you have to put the places you would like to visit in order from most interesting. Number one, two, three, to the least interesting. For example, in my case, my number one will be the Grand Canyon in Arizona. My number two would be the Sugar Love Mountain in Brazil. For me, those are the most interesting. And my number three would be the Pyramids of Giza, Egypt. My number four would be the Taj Mahal. The number five, the Louvre Paris Museum in France. And the last one will be the Colosseum Rome, Italy. In my opinion, but in your opinion? In my opinion, the first one, the Taj Mahal. Okay. Second. The, the second one, uh, the pyramids. 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 Uh, and the, the third, third one, the third, uh, Rio de Janeiro. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and the last one, maybe the, the Grand Canyon, Arizona. 
That will be the last one for you, the least interesting. <laughs> yeah, I see boring if I go to the uh, Coliseum Brown. I don't know. <laughs> I think okay, if you go to the Grand Canyon, what can you do there? Uh, maybe uh, uh, I see the, the view, the beautiful view, and walk around maybe and take a lot of pictures and take a lot of pictures that's right yep <laughs> yeah. okay thank you Roberto, for the okay look at this other question which interesting places around your country around El Salvador or the world have you already visited which interesting places around your country or the world have you already visited Have you visited El Pital or Ataco City and a Perkin Museum in our country? Which places, which interesting places around your country or the world have you already visited? Victoria? I live in Guatemala. Guapa City. I visited Ring of the Tazuma, uh, Cuscachapa Lago. Oh, okay, nice. You have visited Tazuma Rings. And the lagoon, which lagoon you said? Cuscachapa. Cuscachapa, and where is it? In Chalchapa. Chalchapa, okay. Santa Ana, Santa Ana City, Chapa. I have never gone there. I have never been there. Okay, uh, other places? Another person? Roberto Carlos Cuellar, can you tell me which places around El Salvador have you visited? In El Salvador, I, I wanna visit the, um, Santa Ana, the church. It's very, very, very beautiful. Okay, you have visited Santa Ana. Cucina. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. And the and the picture, and the picture, and the the and the two procession. I wanna visit in the Roma, Italia. It's very interesting for the culture and its history. Yeah, I wanna right. go. You would like, you would like to visit the Colosseum Rome. Yeah. Okay, the Roman Colosseum. Yes, it's true. It has a lot of history and you can learn a lot about culture. So yeah, good, good choice, Roberto. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and that is the last question. What three other places around the world would you like to visit and why? En la pregunta anterior les preguntaba cuáles ya visitaron, pero en esta pregunta, ¿cuáles les gustaría visitar? What three other places around the world would you like to visit? You can say, I would like to visit, I would like to visit Mexico. Mexico rings in Mexico City. I like to visit Paris. You would like to visit Paris, okay. I like visiting New York. You would like to visit New York, yeah. Mm -hmm. I would like to visit Spain. Okay. I'd um, like and to visit Sicilia, Italy. Oh yeah, I would love to go to Italy and and visit these different things, Venice. Um, I forgot the other one, Florence, and others. I forgot the name of them. Of the city. Okay, another person? Claudia Isel, where would you like to go? I like visit, I like to visit uh, Suiza. Switzerland, you would like to visit Switzerland. And yeah. I 
Brazil or Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, I agree with you. Switzerland is a beautiful country. Miley? I like visiting Noruega because I love seeing the Aurora Boreal. Oh, yes. So you would like to visit it's my uh, dream. Norway. Norway, it's your dream. Norway. Yeah, I'll, it's my it's dream my... too. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. Okay, somebody else? I will like visiting Rio de Janeiro and stay in the, the, the Corcovado. Oh. Okay. Me right. gustaría. Yeah, you can say, I would like to. I would like to. I would like to. I would like to. Yeah. I would like to. I would like to visit. I would like to go. I would like to travel. Very nice. Thank you for your opinions, people. Okay, now we have here a conversation. Why should I do there? So um, I need two people, one to be Jason and another one to be Claudia. Conversation between Jason and Claudia. May I have two volunteers? Hi. Okay, go ahead. Selma, right? Selma and? Yes. You will be Claudia and Roberto. You start, okay. Roberto. Okay, I am Jackson. You are Jason. Oh, Jason, I'm sorry. Uh, can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? Oh, you should definitely visit the National Museum of Anthropology. It's amazing. Okay, this is on my list now. Anything else? <clears throat> You shouldn't miss the Diego Rivera murals. They incredibly, oh, and you can walk around the historic center. Oh, sounds perfect. And what about the food? What should I eat? You can't miss the street food, the tacos, barbecue, fruit. It's all delicious. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, Roberto and Selma. Okay. Yeah, so can you tell me a little bit about El Salvador City? El Salvador? Sure. What would you like to know? Well, I'm going to be there for a few days next month. What should I do there? Oh, you should definitely, definitely visit the National a uh, theater or the national palace in the historic center it's beautiful or it's amazing <laughs> okay it's on my list now anything else you shouldn't miss what tell me you shouldn't miss the Epital in Epital. okay uh it's incredible and you can walk around that place the monk that sounds perfect. And what about the food? What should I eat? You can't miss the pupusas, right? Atol <laughs> de lote. Oh, yes. And the corn atole. And all, all the food, Salvadorian food, right? Empanaditas, pastelitos. Atol chuco. Crazy it's corn. Home. Los elotes locos, right? Enchil Enchiladas. <laughs> Exactly. Okay. Very Los pasteles. Tamales. <laughs> yeah, you definitely, uh, you should try them. So, as somebody in this conversation, um, they are giving suggestions. They are giving suggestions. To give suggestions, we use should. 
You should go to El Pital. You should go to La Costa del Sol. You should visit Los Planes de Renderos. You should go to La Puerta del Diablo. Escóbanos. You should, sorry? La Playa de los Cóbanos también. Okay, you should go to Los Cóbanos Beach. You, uh, you should go to Surf City. Um, uh, you should hike the Isalco Volcano. Um, you can walk around El Boquerón, et cetera, et cetera, right? So just, okay. you uh, Teacher, I have the question. Yes, Roberta. Este, eh, en show, ¿cómo lo deberíamos de tener? Porque la traducción es debería. Exacto. ¿Cómo deberíamos en ese aspecto tomarlo? Porque cuando usted dice debería de, de ir a esto o algo así, ¿cómo podríamos tomarlo? Sí, así justamente. Así como, como debería. Sí. Ok. Like if, if I say you should go to Los Cobanos Beach, deberías yeah. ir. Uh -huh. Así como, okay. mira, voy a ir a Salvador. Como una invitación. Ajá, ¿qué, qué, me, ¿Qué me sugerís? ¿A dónde voy? Oh. Okay. Ah, you should go Perfect. to, debes ir, tenés, debes ir a este lugar, a este otro lugar, okay, it's like a suggestion for the places to go and to visit. Okay. That is in the case of should, and like to give suggestions or ask for suggestions. Now, um, then in the conversation, we also use can, for example. Example, the activities that are possible to do in those places. Como las cosas que se pueden hacer, que usted puede hacer si va a ese lugar. We can say, for example, you can walk around the historic center. You can take a lot of pictures. You can try different uh, traditional food or traditional dishes. Uh, you can go dancing. You can go hiking, you can go camping, okay? So can is used to say the activities possible to do in those places, the activities you can do, okay? So how do I use, uh, I will move here. How we use shooting can? It's easy. We have the subject. And then we have the model, the model should, or the model can. Then we have the verb in the base form. And that's it. Very easy. It's easier than the simple present. <laughs> es más fácil que el presente simple. Why? Because in this case, you don't have to add the S to the verb. En este no importa el sujeto, usted no le pone la S al verbo. El verbo no lleva S en tercera persona. ¿Por qué? Porque es un modal verb. Tampoco eh, usted tiene que usar el to antes del verbo, no se usa. Es solamente el verbo solito. Por ejemplo. Vamos a hacer. I should go to. I should go to that park. I can. I can go next week. Yo debería ir a ese parque. Mm -hmm. Puedo ir la otra semana. Yeah. Okay, you. You should try the pupusa, the pupusa loca. Uh, you can buy it at any pupuseria. Okay, he should, he should visit Ataco City. He can try different atolls in there. She should swim 
or she should go to the governor's beach. She can surf in that beach. Griselda, can I can I surf in at the covenants? No, hay mucha piedra ahí. <laughs> okay, I didn't know, but it's just an example. Okay. <laughs> um, it should be a great place to visit. Mm -hmm. it, it should be a great place to visit. It can be very expensive though. And I'm using though or however. Uh, we should. We should go on a trip someday. Mm, we can have a cup of coffee at the historic center in San Salvador, right? Yeah. There are uh, many coffee shops. A little bit expensive, but, but yeah, you can go. Uh, you should tell me people, help me another place. You should hike the Salco Volcano. You can take amazing pictures there. You sure? Yeah. I have a um, question. What's your question, Karen? What significa hike? Hike. Hike. Sí, hike. Hike the volcano. Escalar el, el volcán. Ah. O sea, hacer la caminata al volcán. Hike the volcano. Uh -huh. Hike. Hike. That is a okay. Hike. Hike. Uh -huh. To walk on the, on the volcano or the mountain. Thanks to the teacher. Mm -hmm. They should have lunch at Caluco. Sonsonate. They can eat a delicious Handsome. What is him? Is the the chicken's mother? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> the chicken's mother. <laughs> yes, I like my least example. Perfect. Sorry. La mejor. <laughs> yeah, it's delicious. They should go to the pital. They can have a picnic. Very good. So you see the, the, the way we can use shoot and can? Easy, right? Subject, should, and the verb, and the complement. And that's it. Can, subject, can, um, the verb, and the complement. Richard. Yes, Vicky? Repeat um, el tipo de, de oración. Presente simple es más difícil. Digo, ¿cómo se llama esto, perdón? <laughs> yeah, sí, así les decía. Este es más fácil porque el sujeto, el modal, modal verb. Se llama modal verb.
Por ejemplo, can también lo podemos usar para hablar de las habilidades, ¿verdad? I can speak English, I can, I can ride a bicycle, I can drive a car, I can sing in the shower, I can dance eh, cumbias, for example, abilities. Um, but in this case, we are using can to, to say the possible activities that we can do in a place. Elsie? Teacher, esos puntos están, eh, cuando hicimos ya las tareas, en el 2.9. Están los modal verbs. Sí, eso, el should y el can. Y, pero sale, podría, el core, may, help, try, sue, sue, sue. Is the other topic. Mm -hmm. uh, ok, en that case, también se utilizan... La estructura es igual que esta, sujeto, el modal verb y el verb in base form. ¿Qué hace el modal verb? Modifica el verbo. En este caso, por ejemplo, I should go, modifica a go, ¿verdad? Porque si yo digo I go, yo voy, pero si yo digo I should go, yo debería ir. Y si yo digo I can go, yo puedo ir. Entonces los modal verbs me modifican el verbo base. Ahora, por ejemplo, si usted, eh, lo vamos a ver en otra clase, el may, eh, my, eh, no sé cuál otro está. Cold. Cold. Yes. Good. 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 How, Sorry. How, how, teacher, how? Most. Most. Yes. May, el may. El will. Will. Okay. Uh, suggest también. Vaya. Si es el may, se puede utilizar también para, eh, para futuro no muy certero. Puede ser para futuro no muy certero. También para pedir permiso. El cup también es para pedir permiso. Para dar un consejo. Eh, más que todo, para dar un consejo, tam también podemos usar el may o el might. O sugerencia. Uh -huh. Pero más que todo usamos el should para dar advice. Mm. Pero sí, Pero... también se puede. Pero ya lo vamos a ir viendo despacito. Pero la Pero estructura, en... la estructura es esta misma. El sujeto, el modal verb y el verbo en su forma base. ¿Sí, Roberto? Solamente decirle que este, de acuerdo a lo que usted está presentando, es este, um, vamos a, a estructurar la oración o una conversación, ¿verdad? Este, donde nos gustaría ir con el show y en la respuesta prácticamente deberíamos de, después utilizar el, el can, creería, ¿verdad? En ese aspecto, o sea, por ejemplo, en el caso de uh, uh, He should visit Ataco City. He can... He, he can try different at all and different. Ya, o sea, en el aspecto de, de que sí me gustaría, pero eh, claro, yo podría realmente ver en ese lugar este, los diferentes eh, cosas que, que dan, pues, ¿verdad? O que ofrecen. Creería de esa manera. Sí, ¿O no? Sí, depende del contexto, Roberto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Depende del contexto. En este caso estamos hablando de places. Si se fijan, desde el lunes. Uh -huh. Sí, de lugares. Ajá, okay. de places. Pero, por yeah. ejemplo, si usted, yo le quiero dar una sugerencia a usted. Por ejemplo, yeah. you should go to the doctor. You should go to the doctor because you don't look well. You don't look well. No te ves bien. You should go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. Tú debes ir al doctor. O deberías yeah. ir al doctor. Uh -huh. The doctor can give you uh, the medicine you need. Okay. El doctor le puede dar, the doctor can give you the medicine you need. Mm -hmm. Entonces depende del contexto. But in this case, we're talking about place. Okay. Right? When you go to a place, to visit a place. Okay. And uh, what about the negative form? In the negative form, the only thing we are going to do is what is? Not or should not. 
going to add. We are just going to add not. Entonces, si ya tengo aquí, por ejemplo, I should go to the park. Sería I should not or I shouldn't. Ay, no, no me quedó muy bien. <ríe> y aquí el not. El can't. Así. Y a ver si me queda aquí. Así. No. Well, but you, 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 you know. <laughs> right. I mean. Yeah, I understand. Okay. So I shouldn't or I should not go to that park. I can't go next week. You shouldn't try the pupusa loca. You can't buy it at any pupusaria. Entonces, oh, I will erase all of them. I will write other examples better. Sería, I shouldn't go there. It's very dangerous. I shouldn't go there. It's very dangerous. Um, uh -huh. In the case of should. Uh, you shouldn't eat street food. You can get sick. In the negative of can, he can't, he can drive in the highway. Okay, Margarita has a good suggestion for us. You should not drink a lot of soda. Yes, it's true. But what I want you, what I want you to show is the structure. Should not or shouldn't and can not or can. Okay. Shouldn't is the contracted form and can't or can't is the contracted form of can not. That is in the negative form. We can have another example here. Uh -huh. They, they can't, they can surf at Los Cobanos. Right? That's what Griselda says. It's not possible to surf, right? <laughs> Another example. Give me an example, Sisi. Another example. Y en ese caso, este teacher, perdón, cuando usted dice que no pueden sufrir en los cóbanos, no hay una respuesta porque están las olas muy altas, porque hay una tempestad o algo así. Yes, you can add more information. Uh, what is, why Griselda said that there are many, what? There are many rocks. Rocks. Okay, uh -huh. thank you. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Very good. Mm -hmm. 
Wow, people, can you imagine it's A57? <laughs> Time goes so fast. So this is in the case of the negative form. Now, what happens in the question form? What happens? How, what is the structure in the question form? Any idea? Yes, change to the shoe for the subject. Ah, okay. The the order changes. The modal uh, verb is question. Uh, the modal verb goes to the beginning. Solo movemos el modal verb. Lo mandamos al principio. Y el sujeto va de segundo. Elsie. Eh, quería aportar la idea de, de cómo iba la estructura. <risa> ¿Cómo Pero ya la, ya la... Léala, léala. Modal verb, más subject, más verb, más complement. Exactly. Should, in this case, the modal verb is should or can. Then we have the subject plus the verb in the base form and the complement, right? Okay. I yeah, will write some examples. And some examples will be. Should I buy pupusas on the street? Can I take a bus? Um, mm -hmm. Let's take that at Now we change. Okay. So the examples, should I buy pupusas on the street? Answer, yes, I should or no, I shouldn't. What do you think? Yes, I should. Okay. Yes, you should. No problem. Can I take a bath at 9 p.m. in your neighborhood? In my neighborhood? No. No. Can take a bus at 9 p.m. Okay, there is no service at that time, right? Can we go, can we walk around the historic center at night? No. Now it's possible. Yeah, right yeah. now, yes. Yeah, I think it's better in the night. Than yeah, it's better. <laughs> okay. So that is the structure. Should I go to the cinema at night? Yeah, it's very nice to go at night. <laughs> that is not traffic. Why should I see there? Very good, Roberto Eduardo. Okay, um, so guys, this was the class for this evening. I hope that you can make your own examples. Let's give a una tarea. Si le pudieron tomar captura y la comparten, please. Eh, quiero dejarles una tareita para mañana, el homework. Quiero ver si me sale. Ok, um, aquí se ven unos ejemplos de Pay New Cities. Pay New Cities. Entonces, ¿qué van a hacer ustedes? Van a eh, escribir un párrafo sobre eh, una de las One Pay New City, una de sus 
favorite cities around the world, maybe a place you would like to visit. And you will talk about the activities that you can do there. Entonces, va a investigar. Estas preguntas les pueden servir de guía. Vamos a Les pueden servir de guía. Puede ser un, un lugar que usted ya visitó o puede ser uno que a usted le gustaría visitar. ¿Ok? No importa si nunca ha ido ahí o si ya fue. It's ok. Pero y si... escribir las, las actividades que podría realizar ahí. Exactly. The activities you can do there. The activities that you can do or that you should do. Ok, para que practiquemos el should y el can. Y también puede incluir algunas cosas que no debe hacer o que sí puede hacer. Remember that the culture is different in every country or city. Ok, okay Miss. Thank you so much for your time and for connecting on time to the class. I hope to see you good tomorrow. Night. Okay. See you tomorrow. Have a good see night. You tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Good, good night. night. Bye. 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 Thank you. Great class. Sí, sí. Yo se las mando. Okay. Bye. Okay. Thank you, miss. Bye.